I stand here humble with absolute overwhelming gratitude. You have once again put your trust in me, in my hands, in the hands of a once young boy from a very humble home who did not believe in his wildest dreams that this kind of life was possible. But you, the people of Mombasa, made this possible. This victory is not mine alone. This victory is dedicated to the children of this nation, to all of you. Each and every one of you who has ever had a doubt in your mind of your greatness and capacity to succeed, know that I was you. And this is me now. My career in the field of serving my people is, dri is driven by the dreams in your hearts. And your belief in me has moved me ways and widely. I can safely say to you, my people now, that you believe in me in the way I believe in you. And my journey will be your journey. Our mother Mombasa continues to be a major contributor to the greatness of Kenya, but has unfortunately been exploited and treated poorly over the years. It is no secret that Mombasa is ready to take off, if only we could pull together. We are all stakeholders in the growth and the management of our affairs. We have taken in so much pain, both tangibly and figuratively. But over four and a half years, we have fought and faced for the dignity and the well-being of Mombasa and its inspiring people. We have worked tirelessly, side by side, with many talented, intelligent individuals from different walks of life different backgrounds, every single day to undo all the injustice that has been thrown onto our county. And there have been obstacles. From port activities being moved to Naivasha, I stood firmly against it to protect your jobs. I defended with all my might the squatters to be granted land as everyone has a constitutional right to land. I withstood humiliation. My accounts been frozen, bodyguards withdrawn, armed forces ordered to intimidate me. I have been forced in and out of courts for the past four years. All this and more would have taken a toll on me. But the strength and the perseverance and the undying power of my people reflected on me. My people of Mombasa, you have kept me standing steady, always hopeful and unfazed. I did it all for you. I strive to be your Simba because the Simba protects the jungle. And I promise you with all the witnesses that I will not stop protecting you and this beautiful county of Mombasa. My chosen style of leadership is very much influenced by the Enlightenment era and the idea that being an effective leader within a democracy is ensuring that the citizens and the constitution is protected and uplifted above all else. I believe strongly in letting my people know that criticizing an administration is not being a rebel, but in turn practicing your constitutional rights. It is mandatory to know that patriotism is not about blindly following, but about questioning with the intent to protect the people of your nation as a whole. Moving forward, my team and I have set 
in stone goals for Mombasa to thrive and continue to grow. We plan to focus on youth employment and empowerment through creating opportunities that will encourage talents, entrepreneurship and rehabilitation. We will also not forget that the environment in which we live reflects the way we live. And so, with that said, maintaining and managing sustainable environments both for the comfort and the health of our people is crucial. We will continue to invest in the drastic improvement of security within our county to ensure that everyone feels safe and secure. Everything we do and the processes we follow shall be led by our constitution and nothing else. I thank God today for recognizing my intention, for keeping me patient and for always protecting me. Mombasa, I cannot thank you enough for your unwavering support. I plan to serve you for the next five years with everything I have in me to ensure prosperity of our home. I shall then return to you to seek your mandate to vie for the presidency of Kenya. I will ask the people of this great country to judge me truly by the content of my character and not along the tumultuous line of tribal divide, religion, or anything that has caused catastrophes across our country. A courageous pioneer must come forward from amongst us in order to turn this around for a better and more united nation. I will present myself to be that person. This ambition is deeply rooted in the notion that I find to be ever true that all our children, girls and boys, no matter what tribe, what religion and social standing can be the forward-thinking leaders of this country. I believe viciously and irrevocably in the potential of our youth and this belief will guide me in my leadership. Mombasa, thank you for choosing me to be your faithful leader. Asanteni Mombasa, God bless Mombasa, God bless Kenya. Now let me say that I want to appreciate Your Excellency, Right Honorable Raila Amolo Odinga. You have been here.